Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to talk about the cures for a condition called vapor lock. I published a short video earlier in the week that I made that video only because I wanted to include it, embed it into an article that I would just written for the website dependableflame.com and wanted to demonstrate what vapor lock looked like. Vapor lock is when you get too much fuel vapor accumulating in the ignition area of the lighter choking out the available oxygen that is needed to actually cause that lighter to ignite. Typically resulting in something like that where it looks like it may try to catch but actually blows the resulting chemical reaction or that little small explosion blows that out the top of the chimney or as I called it earlier the ignition area. Now there are some easy cures for that. One is to simply open the top of the lighter and let it sit there for a little bit. Another one which was suggested in an old Zippo pamphlet that I remember seeing in one of the Facebook lighter groups, probably the Zippo Addicts group, if I was guessing, is to simply run the lighter up quickly and then ignite it. That will have the result of flooding the vapors out of the chimney and getting a more proper mixture of oxygen to fuel vapor. So that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is it's not lighting. You can just blow your breath on it a little bit. That will usually straighten it out really quickly as well. No problem. As mentioned earlier, you can always, like I said, just let the lighter set. You could even light the lighter, however many times it takes you to light it, suffering from that vapor lock. And you can see that running the lighter up into the air worked that time to clear it out as well. But you could just let that set and burn for a little bit that would cure your problems in the same manner. You can also take your insert out and actually shake your excess fuel out. Depending on where you're at, you might want to shake that into something, shake it into the sink. But shaking off the excess fuel will definitely have a positive effect and cause your lighter to ignite more readily, more easily, keep you from that, well, we probably cured it at this point, may not have that typical vapor lock, well, maybe we do. As you can see it's still a little bit volatile, but if you shake that insert out of the excess fuel then that's going to get you back to the right mixture even quicker. I got a question in the comments section of the video last week or earlier this week that was demonstrating what vapor lock looked like and the gentleman asked me so when I'm fueling my Zippo every time and it drips out a couple of drops from the wick. Is that overfilling it? My answer to him was only slightly. Um, and that's the truth. 
because it really is a fine line between having a perfectly fueled lighter with enough fuel that it's going to last as long as it can, as long as it is able before that petrol fuel that is inside is either evaporated or used up. So it's a fine line so even two drops is too much but it's very difficult to get just the right amount but if you get any amount over just the right amount then you are going to be prone to vapor lock so to answer the question of the gentleman who asked me that in the comments section yes you are overfilling your lighter even if not by much and obviously I grossly overfilled this one today, just as I did the other day, trying to demonstrate what vapor lock looks like. So it shouldn't be as difficult for you to overcome as it has been with this lighter if you just, you know, have a little bit of wherewithal about how much fuel should be going into the lighter and making sure that you're not putting too much. But again, you can always just take it out and let it sit. The air will take care and that will evaporate out pretty quickly. As I said, you can shake it. And I'm sure some of you were jumping up and down and throwing a fit and about to lose your minds over me lighting this over the cloth that I had previously shaken the fuel out on. But the proximity of where that cloth is to where I'm lighting this lighter is not enough, not close enough to catch it on fire. And besides that, I'm in a controlled setting as always. Fire extinguisher, handy, readily available. And uh, you know, I don't really cause fires that often anyway. When I do, they're usually on purpose, but you can see even after all the shaking that we have done of this insert, the fact that we have burned some of it off, it's still exhibiting vapor lock tendencies when we strike the wheel. So those are the four things that, that are going to help you most in curing your lighter of vapor lock. One, run the lighter upward then ignite it, two, open it and then let it evaporate or take the insert out and let it evaporate, shake it out, would be number three, or burn it off would be number four. Until next time.